I have to be completely honest, this Acer Nitro 5 gaming laptop really, really surprised me considering that it only has a 12700H processor and the RTX 3070 Ti, which yes, if this was a gaming PC, as in a full tower computer, that would be an awesome spec gaming PC. But for a laptop, most of the time components inside of a laptop, specifically for the 12th gen CPUs and the 30 series GPUs, they, they perform about half as well as a desktop version of whatever it is inside of that laptop. The 40 series kind of changed this. Like if you have a laptop with a 4080 in it, and then you have a PC with a 4080 in it, even though there is a difference between the two, it's not as significant as like any of the previous gen GPUs and stuff like that. But either way, this laptop has a 15.6 inch, 165 Hertz display, which provides some really good immersive gameplay and is definitely very smooth. Forgot to say to like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. I hate saying it just as much as you probably hate me saying it, but if I do not say it, like 1% of you will actually do it. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. As far as the performance goes, this is good for playing games at 1080p high settings. You can of course jump into the 1440p territory, but it isn't going to be as good of an experience as 1080p and you're not going to be able to use the 165Hz display to its fullest potential. The colors on the display are great. I have had some laptops in the past where it's overly sharpened and the colors are more of a warm tone. Razer is notorious for this. And not only that, the Razer gets very, very hot. I've not once had a Razer laptop where it doesn't get very, very warm, like where your wrists rest. I understand that that's because of the way the laptop is actually designed. You know, it has that aluminum body to disperse the heat everywhere. But if you're gonna actually be using the laptop to be editing videos or playing games with the actual laptop and you're not gonna be connecting it to some sort of an external um display or using a different mouse and keyboard it just it gets very very warm and i don't like that as far as the razor performance it's great don't get me wrong but it's like as far as like the warmth goes i don't like that at all so as far as the features on this laptop here we go it has a backlit rgb keyboard with customization for the keys and all of that kind of stuff the keyboard is very comfortable and you know the rgb lighting can be customized to your liking as far as the Wi-Fi 6 card goes in this, um, I don't have fiber internet to like test this to its fullest potential, but I do have a thousand gigabyte or a thousand megabytes per second download, and then I have 20 megabytes per second upload. So as far as the download goes, it works very, very well. Uh, it's pretty much instant, but as far as the upload, because I don't have that 1000 megabytes per second upload speed, I wasn't able to test this to its fullest potential. So this, the one that I have has a two terabyte NVMe SSD inside of it. Plenty of space to store everything that you're gonna need. At least right now in 2023, I'm fully aware that games are getting bigger and bigger. Like Starfield is gonna be 120 gigabytes like at launch. So if you're gonna be playing Starfield and you're excited for that, then you should probably start downloading that now because that is a massive, that is a huge file size. As far as the cons go, this thing does get pretty loud when you're playing games for a while. Uh, like the fans get pretty loud, but I have not once ever had a laptop that doesn't get loud when you're pushing it to its maximum potential. And then the build quality with this could certainly be better. It's not the best build quality like a MacBook or a Razer laptop. You know, it doesn't have that like very premium feel to it. But overall, this is an awesome laptop and it is a great value. It's powerful, it has a comfortable keyboard. The battery lasts, the battery honestly surprised me in this. And you know, I recommend this thing. This is, this is a really good gaming laptop for people that wanna get a laptop over a PC.